What up, world? This is Decent back again with another Pop Dust exclusive, and my guest at this time just released her debut EP from Unit 408. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Cat Saul in the building. Hey, yo! <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Kat, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you for having me. So, the EP is out. It's yes. amazing. It's phenomenal. You. Tell the people a little bit about the title and, you know, the concept around the EP. Yes, so the title is from Unit 408. Um, and Unit 408 is actually my apartment number and the first single that we released from the EP. Um, and the whole idea behind it is that all the songs on the record including you at 408 are about like people and topics and just situations that have kept me up late at night in my apartment walking around um and i have this like little phone note that i have on my phone obviously um and i like write down my song ideas or like lyrics and they all just like came from that awesome so you're based out of nashville yes are you from nashville originally i am from nashville originally what what yeah <laughs> The reason why that's so surprising because when you hear Nashville, you automatically have a certain genre of music in mind, but yeah. you're the complete opposite end of the spectrum, and I mean that in the best way possible. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's, you know, uh, more upbeat, it's very, very eclectic, it's, you know, more dance-driven. What's it like being from a place that's so rich in history when it comes to, you know, country music, but to kind of have this new edge sound? So my whole background with music um, was it basically I, you know, obviously was a creative kid, like knew piano and guitar growing up, wrote songs in my bedroom, um, but like really started songwriting like in sessions and rooms when I was in high school. Um, and so I feel super grateful for Nash Nashville's like culture of having really great songwriters because mm -hmm. um, even though it wasn't my genre, I feel like I better learned how to tell stories and write lyrics um, and translate that into my pop music. With this EP, you know, this being your debut, what were some of the fears and some of the worries going into making it? Because, you know, as artists, you know, we often are our biggest critics. What were some of the negative thoughts that you kind of had to shed putting this whole project together? Ooh, I would honestly say a lot of the whole writing songs about real people in real situations um, was something that was a little nerve-wracking to me. I was like, but what if people know who it's about? <laughs> Um, even Nick Miller, ironically, which is totally about like the character on New Girl is like for sure the least like personal song on the record. Um, like there are a million people in Nashville named Nick Miller. And of course people were like, I can't believe you wrote that song about my friend, <laughs> which was like not true at all. <laughs> How dare you write the song about Nick who works at Arby's? He's a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. And speaking yeah. of Nick Miller, I'm a New Girl fan. Yes! <laughs> I definitely, you know, depending on what day it is, I really, really relate to Nick, but then I could be a Winston on certain days, and then I could definitely, yes. definitely be Schmidt, and depending on how my hair cooperates, I'm definitely CC. but what about, <laughs> what about, you know, the character, you know, Nick Miller resonate with you so much that you decide to dedicate a whole song to him? The whole idea for that song, other than just I'm always up at night binge watching it, like <laughs> I think that's literally how I fall asleep now, um, was that my co-writer Paige, um, it was actually my first write with her and my producer Lucas, um, she was like, hey Kat, has anyone ever told you that they were, you remind them of Jessica Day from New Girl, and I was like, oh my god, like, so much. Um, I just, like, need to find myself a Nick, I guess. Ha ha. So it kind of came from that concept. Um, but I think what jumps out about Nick at me is that, like, he's such a down-to-earth kind of dude, um, and someone that you can be, like, really good friends with, but in Jess's case, like, also date. Um, and that's like what I want out of whoever I end up dating. Yeah, um, and, and also at times a man can be very, very daft and stupid. Speaking yeah. from experience. <laughs> you know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Girls too, it's human. <laughs> but I just feel like, you know, with the, the sound that you're cultivating, it's, you know, it's a new take, but it's also a throwback to like, you know, the, the, the blondies and, you know, the, the Gwen Stefani's. But once again, Thanks. it's your take, you know, it's not so much you're imitating it, you taking this, you know, I guess familiar sound and bringing it to a whole new generation. And once again, you coming from Nashville, I feel like it's just gonna be a punch in the face to everybody because <laughs> you're expected to make a certain type of music. But speaking of which, we actually premiered your video for Jericho yes. last year. Tell us a little bit about the video. The video is very, very high energy and 
the reason why the high energy resonates with me is because it's just you by yourself but you're managing to really really convey so much personality with it just you being in a room you know dancing around what was it like shooting that video it was actually so fun so we shot it at tremble house um, which is a new artist collective space in Nashville. Awesome. Um, and one of the main reasons that we wanted to shoot there was that within the space, there's like a psych wall and like a stage set and like kind of a living room setup. So we were like, this is so cool. Let's just like use all of this. Um, so we tried to kind of designate each of the different spaces within the warehouse as like a scene or like a state of mind. So when I'm on the stage, it's more like introspective and like performing loud. Um, and then there are moments that are just like more close up when I'm in like kind of the living room space, even though it's one sort of long choreographed piece. Awesome. And going back to, you know, the whole concept of having a team around you, it really seems like that's the key to your success and being able to be so level headed and be able to create. Is that something that you feel is essential for an artist at any stage of their career, be it them starting out from the very, very bottom and then being at the very, very top? For me, I'm an independent artist and I'm unsigned, but I guess when I use the word team, it's just like a support system. Mm -hmm. Like I consider my mom a member of my team. Hi mom. And, hi mom. <laughs> but yeah, I think that for any artist to be able to have people that encourage them to cre keep creating and like to be their best selves. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk a little bit more about the Nashville scene right now because unbeknownst to me, I didn't realize that Nashville was a hotbed for music and not just for country music, but for music in general. A lot of the artists that we've had featured on Pop Dust, they said that they've recorded their albums in Nashville, they work with producers in Nashville. What's the creative scene like? Because I know you mentioned the creative space that you shot the Jericho video in. It kind of reminds me a lot of how the Brooklyn scene is here, where it's yeah. just like this open-ended resource for creatives wanting to thrive and make different types of art. Is that sort of the same vibe with Nashville right now? Yeah, I'd say that De Nashville definitely has, like, their scenes. Mm -hmm. um, I think that in terms of non-country music, it's really cool that the city is kind of rising up and, like, creating spaces for those people to showcase, um, like, their music, like, even in the form of, like, a venue, right. um, which is super cool and something that Nashville's been working on. Um, even, like, support groups, like, there's Pop Off and, um, like, Pop Squad and all these different, like, awareness um, groups, which is super awesome. Well, Nashville, you are on the rise, and we see you and salute because you brought us one of your greatest exports here. <laughs> Thanks, too. <laughs> what is up with you in the near future that people might want to stay tuned for? Videos, shows, um, bar mitzvah appearances, or all, all yes. that good stuff. No, unfortunately, no bar mitzvah is coming up. Damn it. Um, okay. I know. Um, it's a bummer. And putting out a remix from the EP, TVD, um, at the beginning of April, end of March, kind of depending, we're still working on it. Um, and you can expect a lot more music for the rest of the year to come through me and maybe some other artists too. So, stay tuned. You never know. Well, Kat, thank you so much for stopping by. Where can people find you at on social media? I am at Catsall Music on Twitter and Instagram. And on YouTube, I am just Catsall. Well, there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Cat Soul from Unit 408 is out <laughs> now on all streaming platforms, right? Yes, all of them. All of them. Every last <laughs> one of them. I am Decent. This has been another Pop Dust exclusive. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Make sure you follow us on social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. Do us a favor. Click the little bell to be notified of all new content, and we will see you soon. Peace. <laughs>